Welcome back to another episode of CAD Jungle. In today's episode, we're going to be creating this object here. Let's hop right to it. As always, we start out by creating new components. New components help keep things organized. We're going to create a sketch and put it on the front plane. All dimensions are going to be in millimeters. Let's use the line tool. We're going to make it a construction line. Starting at the center point, we'll drag it out for just a bit. We'll drag it up just a bit. We're going to be using the slot tool. Center point slot. We're going to start at this point here. Bring it out just a tad. And let's slide over because we forgot to go ahead and turn off construction. And we can make it as follows. We're going to make the width of the slot 40 millimeters. We're going to make the width of this line 20 millimeters. We're going to use the offset command. Select the slot we just created, drag it in, and we're going to make it negative 10 millimeters. The distance from this side to this point, we're also going to make 20 millimeters. Next, let's use the mirror command and drag the entire object. Mirror line is going to be this construction line here, and it's complete. Once again, let's use the line command. Make sure the construction is turned off. And select the point at the top until you set triangle in the X. It lets you know that you're at the center point of that arc. In addition, you'll see a circle, an X, and a triangle here to let you know that you're also at the center point of this arc as well. And we'll do the same to the bottom. The sketch is closed and fully defined. Closed, it's actually shaded in light blue. Fully defined, all the lines are black and you cannot move them around. Finish the sketch. Next, let's use the extrude command. We want to extrude this line first, excuse me, this profile first. We're going to drag it outward and make it negative 15 millimeters. We need to bring back this previous sketch. Next, let's select the profiles here. After we select the extrude command once again, we're going to drag it outward once more and make this negative 25 millimeters. Now we can turn off the sketch. Let's create a construction plane, an offset plane. We're going to select this face here, drag it out and make this negative 27 millimeters. What we want to do is create a sketch on the plane we just created. Let's grab the center diameter circle tool. Create a 40 millimeter circle. Let's grab the horizontal vertical constraint tool. Select the circle, select the center point. And now it's lined up. Let's add some dimensions. So we want the distance from this circle to this edge here to be about 40 millimeters. Let's finish the sketch. Let's once again use the extrude command. Select the profile we just created, drag it outward, and make it negative 50 millimeters. Let's select the right view. I'm going to go ahead and change the display settings and make sure camera is set to perspective with ortho faces. And now it's fully flat. 
Let's create a sketch on the right plane. Select the line tool, make it a construction line. We want to start at this point here. Bring it over. Actually, before we do that, let's grab the line tool again, make sure it's still a construction line. And we want to make a construction line across here on the cylinder from this point to this edge. We turn off the construction tool, make sure the line is still selected. Grab this point here. Bring it over and bring it up. Let's use the dimension tool and let's set the distance from this point to this point to be 20 millimeters. Now that line is fully defined. Let's grab the fillet command, select both lines and make sure it's set to 10 millimeters. Now let's select the offset tool, grab the line we just created, bring it over and let's make this 15 millimeters. And let's close the sketch. Select the line command. We we'll start at this point and drag it over to this point. We'll close this end and this end. Line is shaded, sketch is closed, lines are black, they're fully defined. Select the extrude command. We want the direction to be symmetric. Measurement's gonna be whole length. We wanna make this 40 millimeters. Operation's gonna be set to join. Last but not least, let's create the hole to go in this part here. Let's drag it over until it snaps into place. The hole should be set to 20 millimeters and distance should be set to all. And that completes this exercise. Stick around and I'll see you in the next video.